Ayoko na mag-invest at mag-trade sa Philippine stocks and Philippine stock market. And bibigyan kita ng 5 reasons kung bakit ayoko na sa Philippine stocks. Unang-una, trading hours. Hanggang ngayon, ang Philippine stock market ay nagtitrade lang between 9am to 3pm. Ang ikli ng trading hours sila and I just found out na meron pa pala silang lunch break between 12pm to 1pm. Grabe, sobrang old school naman talaga itong Philippine stock market natin at kailangan nila tanggalin yung lunch break at habaan yung trading hours sila. Pangalawa, low trading volume. Alam mo ba that the daily value turned over sa Philippine Stock Exchange is only about 3 to 5 billion pesos. That's roughly 50 to 90 million dollars per day. With a high of only 10 billion pesos per day, which is about 176 million dollars. Now, kumpara yan sa US stock market, ang baba sobra ng trading volume na yan. The Nasdaq alone in the United States does $350 billion a day. Kung ganyang kababa ang trading volume dito sa Pilipinas, it's going to be difficult to see much significant movement to make money on the stock market for traders. At alam ba gano'ng kaliit yung market cap ng buong Philippine Stock Exchange? It's only $270 billion. I know that sounds big. Pero kung kinompare mo yan sa New York Stock Exchange, that has a market cap of $25 trillion. Halos 1% lang ang size ng market natin kumpara sa New York Stock Exchange. And think about this, ha? yung buong Philippine stock market is smaller than the top 20 companies in the US stock market. And that's the whole Philippines. O, bago ko sabihin yung other 3 reasons kung bakit hindi na ako nagtatrade ng Philippine stocks, gusto mo ba magtrade ng US stocks o kaya commodities, forex, or indices? At itatrade mo lahat yan on one trading platform. And you get to trade it against Bitcoin, Kung naintriga ka dito, check out the newest all-in-one trading platform called Serus Markets. And I'll share with you the link right here for the full video walkthrough of Serus Markets if you're interested. And I'll also share the link for the sign-up in case gusto mo na mag-sign up. Okay, let's go back now to the last three reasons kung bakit ayoko na mag-invest at mag-trade ng Philippine stocks. Number three. Lack of trading options. Alam mo sa Philippines, ano, it's called vanilla trading. At it's called vanilla dahil ang plain niya talaga. Ibig sabihin, ang pwede mo lang gawin dito ay spot trading. Pwede ka lang bumili ng shares at ibenta yung shares kung kumita ka na. That's it. Wala siyang mga derivatives, options, wala siyang mga futures, perpetuals, walang ganun. It's so simple, you can't even sell short. Well, hopefully, I heard na babaguhin na daw nila yun at mag na sila ng mga short selling. Let's see what happens. But for now, it's vanilla trading and there's nothing you can do with the trading in the Philippine stock market. Tapos idagdag mo pa doon na there's literally only about 10 stocks that you can really trade. The trading volume of everything else is so low na it's useless to try to even trade it. Number four, I have this belief that the Philippine stock market is highly manipulated at ang daming insider trading nangyayari dito sa stock market natin. And only the big players are gonna be the ones that are able to benefit from this. The rest of us, the retail traders, good luck. At sana masakin mo na lang yung wave at kumita ka. Pero if you're not in the know, there's a big chance you might even lose your money. And the number five reason bakit hindi na ako nag invest at nag-trade ng Philippine stocks, it's the currency devaluation. At kahit na kumita ka sa Philippine stock market, talo ka pa rin dahil yung Philippine peso ay pababa ng pababa ng value. At dahil doon, you're at a disadvantage no matter what you do here in this stock market. And those are the five reasons kung bakit hindi na ako nag invest sa Philippine stock market. But I am still hopeful that the PSC will be able to see how they can evolve and improve the trading and investing landscape in the Philippines to be able to attract again retail investors to invest in this market. There are a couple of things that you can do to be able to improve that. Number one, take out the trading hours. Make trading 24-7. Number two, they should really consider going on the blockchain. Number three, which they're already talking about, is offering different trading options. Derivatives, leverage tradings, futures, and all of that. Number four, improve regulations and monitoring para walang insider trading at mabawasan yung mga manipulative trading. And number five, ito hindi ko alam kung ano magagawa nila with regards to the Philippine pesos devaluation. Maybe they should consider trading the Philippine stocks against a more stable currency. And that way, they'll be able to open it up not just for Filipino retail investors, but possibly even if regulations allow, 
the entire world. And that's it. I hope you guys learned something from this video. At kayo, ano tingin nyo? nag invest pa ba kayo sa Philippine stock market? And if you do, I'd love to know kung bakit nag invest pa kayo sa Philippine stock market and what do you think can they do to improve their services and their offerings. Ito si Kristan. Magkita tayo muli sa aking susunod na video.